fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Cattle raising was the first great industry in Texas. But when the days of the open range passed, many settlers turned to farming. Bitter disputes over boundaries and water rights arose between the ranchers and the farmers. And in time, this hard feeling changed to hatred. Range wars would have followed if the masked rider of the plains hadn't proved that the disputes could be settled by peaceful means. It was he more than any other man who brought law and order to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! There's going to be trouble in the range country. We've got to hurry. Hail, Silver! Away! <laughs> Our story opens at midnight, not far from Sam Hefner's ranch house. A man bound hand and foot lies on the ground. A younger man stands over him. You'll pay for this, Neil. Maybe. Now open your mouth so I can take this gag. You! Open your mouth or I'll do it for you. You had to sneak up on me and never got me like this. I'll... There, that'll fix you. You talk just once too often. Now quit jerking your head around while I get this tied. That's good enough, I reckon. <laughs> So you're a hired gun hand, huh? Drawing double wages for Sam to keep me from his daughter, huh? Well, that'd take a dozen like you. Now you just sit there and make yourself comfortable while I see if Kate's awake. And maybe you and me will meet up again someday. There's no light in Kate's room. Maybe she ain't asleep yet. I'll toss some gravel again the window. And I hope the blazes she hears it. Oh, gone! she didn't hear me. Well, I'll... That you, Kate? Who is it? Who's there? Oh, it's you, Neil. Keep your voice down, honey. But what? Listen, Kate. There ain't much time to talk. Is your pa awake? He's in the parlor reading. But why are you somewhere around him? <laughs> He's tied and gagged over beside the trail. Neil. Look here, honey. I'm in a bad fix. The sheriff rode to my place this evening to serve that warrant your pa swore out again me for fighting with his foreman. But I... And now the sheriff's dead. Neil, you, you didn't shoot him. I didn't, Kate. I swear I didn't. But the worst of it is, I don't know who did. Well, will they blame you? Just as soon as they find out about it, they will. And, Kate, I won't have a chance. Just because I'm a nester and live by raising crops instead of being a cowpuncher, every cattleman in the county will be after my hide. But what'll you do? Only one thing I can do. Clear out. Oh, no. Ain't no choice, honey. I ain't guilty. But everybody will say I got in a fight with the sheriff about that warrant and draw it on him. And there's no way I can prove any different. But, Neil, you... You can't leave me. Oh, gosh, honey. You know I don't want to, but... No, I won't have it. If you're leaving, Neil, then, then so am I. Huh? I mean, if you want me. Oh, Kate, what do you think I've been working day and night for if it wasn't so as we could be hitched up when I had enough cash? But now everything's changed, don't you see? You can't... I go... don't see, and I can. We'll leave this minute. I won't even stop to pack anything to take along. We can stop by at the Widow Nelson's. She'll be glad to loan me anything I need. 
And then, then in the morning, we'll get married over to the county seat. And you, wherever you go, I'll go. Oh, you're being plumb foolish, honey. Oh, don't try and stop me, Neil. But, well, I reckon I'm just as foolish as you are. We'll do it. I can go just as I am. I didn't start to get ready to go to sleep. I, I was just sitting here, thinking. My horse is over there. It'll carry double as far as town. Here, give me your hands. I'll help you through the window. Hurry. There you are, honey. Now, come on. For all I know, maybe they found the sheriff already. When we get there, I'll borrow the widow's horse, too. Neil, watch out, you... Made enough racket to wake anybody. That tub was set there to catch the rain. I forgot all about it. Come on, run. Who made that noise? Is that you, Whitey? Up with you, honey. We gotta travel. Uh, hurry, Neil. Who is that? Well, I'll be. Get up there. Wait, hold Get on. Up. Get up there. Kate! Is that you, Kate? Come back here. Wait! Riding off of that no good farmer. Whitey, where in places are you? Whitey! I'll skin that fool alive. Men, fellas, pile out of the bunkhouse. Come a-running. Whitey's disappeared and Kate's riding away with Neil Brogan. Something's happened at that ranch house, Tyler. Well, there's been a hold-up. Maybe that it. Oh. What's that? Oh, Silver. Oh, oh Scout. Oh. A man tied and gagged. Come on, huh? That, that right. You cut the ropes, Tyler. I'll untie this gag. Uh, me, me cut him. Hold still. Then I'll be free in a moment. This knot was drawn plenty tight. There, that does it. You blasted killer. I'll fix him. Tie me up, Willie. Run off with the boss's girl, Willie. Why the low down? Say you're masked, and it's a redskin with you. Never mind that. Well, thanks anyhow, stranger, for what you've done. Gosh, I'd better let Sam know what become of me. Sounds like they're having a fit over by the house. Here, I'll help you to your feet. You must be stiff after being tied like that. Golly, I am at that. But that don't matter. I have to tell oh, Sam... There's Whitey, this way. I found him. Yes, fellow in the red skin got him. Ice your hands Tyler. there, you two. Hold on, boss. I'll teach these fellows to... Wait, they didn't hold me up, boss. They just now untied me. Huh? It was Neil Brogan tied me up and gagged me. He done it by coming at me from behind. And these fellas come along and found me. Is that right, stranger? It is. And if you wasn't working with Neil, what's that mask for? I have my own reasons for the mask. Yeah, I just bet you have. You, Whitey. You ride in here, tell me what a hand you are with a shooting iron. And you ain't on the job 24 hours when you let the blasted farmer get the best of you. But I just now said these ah, fellas... Ah, and you, Ray. You talking all the time about being sweet on Kate. You even have a fight with Neil about it. Then you just stand by while he comes and steals her away. But gosh, boss, I was sleeping, I tell you. Well, I'm wondering if you ain't asleep all the time, you idiots. I've a mind to fire the lot of you. I don't see how we could have helped it. And it ain't doing no good standing here arguing about it. What I want to do is catch that polecat and give him what he's got coming. And that goes for me, Whitey. Come on, boss, let's ride for Neil's place now. Neil's place? Now, they're likely to go there, ain't they? But where else would they go? I know where they'd head for. Bring them horses up here. All right, all right, what place you got in mind, boys? Winter Nelson's. She and Kate spend half their time visiting back and forth. That's the first place Kate would think of. Then let's get going. There's just one thing, boss. Yeah? The fellows that have been coming into this part of the country to farm, the nesters, they think a heap of you. Well, what about it? Nothing much. Only going after them like this... Well, they'll be taking sides, and this is likely to turn into a regular range war. Afraid? Well, of course I ain't. Then get in your saddle and shut up. Ready, fellas? Yeah, then come on. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Here's the white dress I wore when I got married to Lynn, Kate. You can have that for your wedding. Well, that's awfully good of you, Mrs. Nelson. And here's a blue taffeta I can spare in these aprons. I don't know about these shoes, Kate. <laughs> They'd maybe a mite too big for you. I can't possibly take all these things. Just enough to do me till I can get where I can buy more. But you're sure being mighty nice to us, Mrs. Nelson. Sure, as if a body can't help her friends. You got the whole saddle that I said Kate could borrow, Neil? Uh-huh. It's standing just outside. Well, then I'll get this valise passed, and then you better hustle. And, Kate, you be sure and write me. After what you've done for us, you think I'd forgive? <laughs> of course not, child. I was just talking. There, I reckon that's fast and good enough. I'll take it, Miss Nelson. Come on, honey, we can... What's that? Horseman. Kate, maybe that's your paw and his men. Quick, out the back. 
I'll try to hold them. Not to. Right. So there you are. Pa. We caught you, you pole cat. Hand back her, Ray. No, you don't, fella. Keep your hand away from that holster. You're covered. You, Whitey. Chief, I'm ashamed of you. A cattleman's daughter running away with a farmer. But you're going back home right now. No, Pa. I love Neil and he loves me. What if he ain't a rancher? I don't care what he is. That's I'm... enough of that talk. You come with me. Take your hands off, Kate. Even if you are a paw, that don't Shut mean... Shut up, up for taste, lad. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, a whole pack of you. Uh, you, uh, Sam, you almost was the ordiest, most cantankerous creeper I ever seen. Have you ever raised a girl as nice as Kate? I don't know. A Ray there, a fine foreman he is. All us whining around about being loco over Kate, but never having backbone enough to do more and run Neil down. And this fella here, what's his name? Why, uh, that's just Whitey, I... The gunman I... you hired yesterday, huh? <laughs> And a nest that ties him up. A first-rate crew if I ever seen one. No, talk all you want. All right, Kate, come along. Please, Pa. I reckon you'd better go, honey. But but I'll be seeing you again as soon as I can. <laughs> you have a notion you're staying behind? What are you going Well, you ain't. We all got things to settle with you. Me especially. Now get moving before I pull this trigger. Look here, well, you... Well, I got you covered. I'll give the orders. Get going. Don't you worry, Neil. I'll tell your friends about this, and they'll see to it that you ain't hurt. If them farmers come interfering, we'll run them right out of the county. Close the door, Ray. Yeah. Why, you can't let them do anything to Neil. Kate, whatever happens to that skunk will be too good for him. Now get mounted and don't talk up. And that goes for you, fella. Into the saddle. Whitey, there'll be a time coming when you ain't got a gun in your hand. We'll have this out man to man. <laughs> if you leave that long. All right, Neil. You're coming with me. What? Clear out of here. Oh, what the... Come on, Neil. We're riding. Get a hold of that fella. Stand back. Turn it over. Get over. Shoot him. Missed. Try again. The masked man. You said he wasn't working with Neil. And now he rides in and grabs that blasted nester right out from under your noses. Come on. Get into the saddle and take after them. All right, sir. <laughs> Come on, Silver! We shook them off, stranger. Where are you heading for now? To camp! Tonto Road ahead and is waiting for us! Tonto? My friend! Hurry, Silver, old fellow! And so that's why I gotta clear out of the country, stranger. You have no idea who shot the sheriff? Not a notion. I couldn't even begin to make a guess. But I think I can. You. What? I believe I know the murderer, but I can think of only one motive. But who? What I'll would explain he... later when I have more to go on, Neil. But first, I want the answer to a question. Well, what do you want to know? The sheriff had several deputies, didn't he? Sure. There's Ed Porter and Lige Mason. Which and... one would you trust the most? Which would I trust? Well, that'd be Ed Porter, I reckon. He's as square as they come. Good. Tonto, uh, we're going back to town, Kimosabe. We right now? At once. We'll have to be back here before daylight. Yes, Count. Here, yes, Silver. But hold on. What about me? You're staying here, Neil. You've got a scheme to catch the killer. I want to be in on it. You'll be safer here. Who cares about being safe? That isn't all. Our horses are faster than yours. You were long and it just handicap us. But gosh, I want to do something. Perhaps later there'll be plenty for you to do. But now you can help us most by staying here. Ready, Tyler? Huh? Be ready. Gosh. Look at them fellas ride. I'm in a bad spot, sure enough. But if I had the whole West to choose from to get help, I wouldn't look no further than them two fellas there. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger, after rescuing Neil Brogan from Sam Hefner and his men, left Neil in his camp while he and Tonto returned to town to investigate the murder of the sheriff. Isn't that the sheriff's office up ahead? Mm, that's it, all right. We've got to get inside. Maybe door locked. Maybe. But I've got an idea. We'll find it isn't. Why do you think that? First, we'll see if I'm right. Here we are. Who, Silver? Oh, who, 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 who's gone? Yep. You see, Tonto? Uh, door. Door broke open. Whoever was here before us found the door locked. So he smashed his way inside. Uh-huh. There's a lamp on the table. Light it, Tonto. We'll look around in here. Uh, maybe fella see us. There isn't anybody likely to be near this time of night. So where the broken door would have been discovered before this. Uh, there. Lamp. Look. Oh, paper all over room. Every drawer in the sheriff's desk was open and searched. The man who did this didn't bother to replace the papers he looked at. He just threw them on the floor. Looked like him in big hurry. Well, that's enough, Kimosabe. Now back to the horses. Where we go? Do you know where Ed Porter's home is? Uh huh. Him got place in town. Uh, me, me show you. Steady, Silver. Then lead the way, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Oh, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. This is the place, Tonto? Uh, not, not right. I hope he's home. If he isn't, we'll have to find him. Maybe him not hear you. I'll try again. Oh, Reuben Blaze is making that racket this time of night. Open the door. Yes, hold your horses. If it's a sheriff, what? A masked fellow. Careful, Deputy. And the redskin, what? In... You're going to get dressed at once. Look here, no outlaw's going to order me around. I'm I'll... not an outlaw. And have you covered? That draw. Now, will you do what I say? You won't get away with this. Get back inside and start dressing. We'll talk that over later. Blast you. Close the door, Tonto. Oh, me closing. Now, oh. Deputy, I'm watching every move you make. Don't try anything. You... And when you finish, you're coming with us. During the next two days, the news of the sheriff's murder spread through the range country. It was early in the morning when Kate went down to the Hefner Corral and saddled her horse. What do you think you're doing, Kate? Uh, I'm going for a ride, Pa. Like fun you are. I told you once you wasn't leaving the ranch, and I meant just what I said. But, Pa... You won't get no second chance to run off with no murderer. Neil didn't shoot the sheriff. Yeah? Well, other folks think different. Not everybody. Everybody that counts does. Now, who in blazes is that coming here? Why... It's Hank Graves and Paul Keaton. More doggone farmers. I thought I made it clear I didn't ever want to see one of them polecats on my place. Well, don't start trouble, Pa. I'll handle things my own way. What are you fellows doing here? We've been sent here, Sam. We didn't ride clear out here just for the pleasure of talking to you. You can lay to that. Well? We aim to know what you've done with Neil Brogan and Ed Porter, the deputy. I don't know where Ed is, but I can tell you this. Neil ran away to save his neck. You can bet on that. Yeah? Well, a widow Nelson tells a different story. She says you and your hired gunman came and took Neil out of her house. But he got away again. That's likely, ain't it? A half dozen you again want to him. But a mask for... Don't try no lies. What must have happened was this. You tried to frame Neil for the sheriff's killing. But most likely Ed found out about it, so you got rid of both of them to keep them from telling their stories in court. You're crazy. Why, well, even hate Kate here can tell Neil was took away by some outlaw, can't you, Kate? Is that so, miss? Uh, I don't remember. Why, dog blast my hide. He was... You was right there. You recollect as well as I do. Now you tell him. Bring in your girl and make her back up your story, huh? Well, that don't go down with us. See here. You see here. We brought a message to you, and we're delivering it. Either you produce Neil and Ed by 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, or get ready for gunplay. Making threats, eh? Just so. And I'll tell you this, Sam. Maybe us farmers ain't as handy with shooting irons as you cattlemen, but we got you outnumbered two to one. And any gunplay we start, we'll finish. The deadline's 6 tomorrow. Don't be forgetting. Come on, Paul, let's get back. Yeah. And Sam, when we says six, we mean six. Good day to you. Get up. Get up. Get along. Get up. Now, what was the idea of what you done? Why didn't you tell him about the mask fella? If you was a young and again, I'd tan your hide. They're on Neil's side, Pa. And so am I. Consigned woman, folks. You're as bad your ma was before you. Hey, boss. Hey? Oh, howdy, Whitey. Hello there, Ray. Why won't you hear just... Say, who's the redskin? Me, Tonto. Tonto? The Indian says he's got a note for you. He wouldn't turn it over to us. A note? Where is it? Here. You take him. 
What's it say, boss? Doggone it, quit leaning over my shoulder. Leaping lizards. It's signed by Ed Porter. The deputy? Yeah. Is that his handwriting? Well, I'd say it was. What do you think, boss? There ain't no doubt about it. But if this is true, say where the Redskin get to. I aim to ask him some questions. There he is. Getting on that paint horse. Hey, hold on, Redskin. Get him up, Strauss. Blaster, come back here. Now, why'd he sneak off like that? To keep from telling what he knew, that's why. But, boss, do you figure that note from Ed Porter is straight? I don't know. But we'll find out by tomorrow night, by thunder. Now get back to work. You, Whitey, keep an eye on Kate here. And, Ray, you rouse them lazy rannies out of the bunkhouse and start them riding line. Now get. <laughs> The following day, the farmers gathered in town. They believed the cattlemen were responsible for the disappearance of Neil and the deputy. And as the afternoon wore on toward evening, their suspicion became a certainty. Ten minutes to six, and no sign of Neil or Ed. Men, you better see to your guns. I got a notion there's going to be trouble. Six o'clock, fellas. We'll give them ten more minutes, and then we're riding. That's right. Time's up. Everybody set. Be sure your guns are loaded. And anybody here that ain't hankering after a fight had better get out right now. Hank, there's Joe riding this way. Looks like he's got something to tell us. Hold on a second. Well, what's the matter? I just seen Sam Hefner in his hull outfit riding towards Signal Bluff. Signal Bluff, you sure? Didn't I just say I saw him myself? What'd they be going over there for? Don't ask me. Maybe they figured if we didn't find him at the ranch, we'd let him go. Well, if they did, they'll sure find out different. If they can ride over there, so can we. Come on, fellas. Let's show them hombres that cattle men ain't running this county. Get up there. Get up there. What time you got, Ray? Near 7.30, boss. Uh, and where's Ed Potter at? We've waited the better part of an hour already. If he don't show up blame soon, we're going home. He didn't say anything about the time in that note he wrote, boss. He just said he'd meet us at the foot of the bluff here after dark. Right after dark. It's that right now, ain't it? What's he afraid of? He don't need to think that... Listen, maybe that's him. Not unless he needs a couple of dozen horses to get him here. Then who is it? Hold on. Yeah, that's them all right, the nesters. But why in They must have followed us here. Bound to have trouble, eh? Well, by thunder, we'll show them where they get off at. Men, if one of them hombres makes a move for his gun, blast them out of their saddles. Here they are! So we found you after you figured on running away from us, eh? Run away from farmers? Why, you... Don't yell at us. We want Neil and Ned, and we aim to find out what's become of them. We warned you what would happen if they wasn't back by six. Blast it, we're looking for the deputy ourselves. Yeah? He sent a note saying he'd be here after sundown. And I don't give a hoot if you believe me or not. Stalling again? Why would he meet you fellas here? Give evidence again, Neil, that's why. Huh? Did Ed say that? Did he say Neil killed the sheriff? Just the same as. Meaning? That the sheriff knew a certain fellow was gunning for him. And the sheriff told Ed who that fellow was. Then you don't know whether it was Neil or not. Ed wrote that he cleared out to keep him getting shot by that same fellow himself. And if he didn't mean Neil by that, I'll eat dirt. You just proved you're lying. Why, you... Ed wouldn't run from nobody. You're making that story up to keep clear of trouble, but your yellow tricks ain't fooling us for a minute. It's a fight, fellas. Real enough. You ask for it, Sam. I've had this gun aimed right at you since we got here. And now by... Hank, watch out. Look up above. What the... It's Neil. Look up that Hank from on top of the bluff. Neil. I I knew you was doing it for me, Hank, but I couldn't let you shoot Sam. You saved my life. Hank had me dead to rights. There's been too much trouble on account of me already, Mr. Hefner. You come close to getting that bullet yourself. Well, all I can say is it's too blame bad you're a nester and wanted by the law. Neil, how in blazes did you happen to be up above? I've been laying up there out of sight ever since you fellows got here, Paul. I know, I'm but... sorry to say it, Neil, after what you've just done. But that makes it look all the worse for you. You must have found out some way that Ed was coming here and was laying for him. There's no choice, I reckon. We'll just have to take you into jail. Just hold on, Sam. Look here, Neil. Wasn't it the ranchers held you prisoner? I wasn't a prisoner, Hank. And I've been with a masked man and a redskin. And, Sam, maybe you wasn't lying about that note. We'll just wait and see if Ed shows up. Suits me, Hank. And, well, I 
I'm hoping Ed don't say what I'm afraid he's going to say. There's a writer, boss. That might be Ed. It must be. Ed, is that you? Sure it is, and I've got big news. Oh, who oh there? We want to know who's gunning for the sheriff. And I can tell you, it's like this, Ed. I was... Oh, it's fire! What? After him, fellas! Oh, he's running your way! How to rope him! He's not armed! Hello! I shot his gun away! What's happened? There's a redskin over there. He's making ready to throw his rope. Somebody's heading for the trees. Let me go! Get that rope out of me! It's Whitey! I'll be... It was Whitey shot at the deputy. Bring that pole cat over here, Tonto. Let um, me bring him. Let me go. Uh, get Last year, let me go. Where's your killer, Sam? The masked man. Where, where'd he come from? The masked fellow was up above, too. Keeping watch for anybody that tried to shoot the deputy. I'd have got him before this if I'd know the sheriff told him about me. So you did kill the sheriff, Whitey. I was tricked. Uh, just one thing, Whitey. What part of the country are you wanted by the law? Ask the deputy, blaster. <laughs> I can't tell the masked man. If the sheriff told you I was gunning for him, he must have told you it was because he recognized me from a reward notice. <laughs> But he never told me you was after him. Huh? What's that? Whitey, you told me you were the killer. That ain't so. You're a loco. The night I untied you near Sam's ranch house, the first thing you did was call Neil a killer. You've forgotten the sheriff's death couldn't have been discovered yet. Why, you... When Neil told Kate about the murder, you were too far away to have heard him. That's a fact. Whitey was over by the trail. You didn't mention it again, Whitey, and Sam said nothing about it at all. Although he was angry enough with Neil to have called him a murderer if he'd known of the sheriff's death. But wait! Only okay. the killer, besides Neil, could have known that the sheriff was dead. And your slip of the tongue showed you up, Whitey. Doggone if that don't beat all. I didn't know the murder myself at the time. But Whitey's statement made me curious. That's why I took Neil away, Sam. And Neil told me his story. But how'd you get on to Whitey being an outlaw? He'd been in this part of the country only 24 hours. So the motive for the sheriff's murder could only be something that had happened in the past. Finding the sheriff's office broken open and reward notices scattered around confirmed my suspicions. That's right, Sam. That's why the mask fellow got me to write you that note. He knew blame well why he would try to shut me up and give himself away by doing so. If he figured I had anything on him. That blasted <laughs> note. Neil, maybe Kate was right about you after all. And as for you, Whitey, that note just goes to show you can't believe everything you read. Especially when the masked man puts another fellow up to writing it. Hello, Come on, Silver, old fellow. There's been a hold up near El Dorado. Saddle's waiting on the trail ahead. I owe Silver away. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>